Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today we've got a pencil review. We are doing a Blackwing Volumes review, and in this case, it's volume 211 of the Blackwing. And I want to say thank you to my pencil pal, Lee, who sent these my way. Uh, these were available a few years ago, I believe, 2015, it looks like they were released. And uh, these were not pencils that I had. And I love how they look. Um, I love natural wood pencils. And um, of course, I think many of us are familiar with uh, the reputation of, of black wing pencils. And so uh, it made it extra uh, exciting for me to receive these um, and be able to review them with you. So thank you again, Lee. Really appreciate it. Um, so, of course, Blackwing uh, pencils are um, manufactured, the cores are manufactured in Japan, uh, and uh, the pencils have uh, basically uh, four available cores. Um, uh, graphites and they have a, um, a, a soft or what they call a matte uh, graphite and then they have what they call a balanced graphite which we see in the Blackwing Pearl. Then they have a firm uh, which is uh, most notably the core that is in the Blackwing 602 and then the extra firm which is the one used in the black wing um, naturals. And so whenever they release a volume uh, or a you know, limited edition, uh, special edition black wing, um, the, they change up the, the paint job, they change up the barrel, they change up the color of the ferrule, the color of the eraser. And they use one of the four, generally, generally, they use one of the four cores in the pencil. So there's basically four different black wings that are different in terms of their, their, their graphite core. All the other things that are different are just sort of um, design. They, uh, they are um, um, the paint, the finish, the ferrule, the eraser. Uh, they have um, made one volume that was round barreled, um, but all the others have been hex, and that is the case here with the 211. So let's take a look here at the, the box. So here, volumes by Blackwing, waiting for it to focus, and has a picture of the pencil on the Oh, the light here a little bit on the on the box uh, 12 limited edition pencils and then of course there is the the actual box of pencils on the inside in sort of a matte finish black very attractive box but let's let's get another look at the outer sleeve here because it tells you the story of why this volume is important and why it was chosen always on the back here. So if I may, it says John Muir was a writer, poet, and artist, but most notably, he's one of the most widely recognized environmentalists in American history. He was one of the first to write about and sketch California incense cedar trees, the foundation of great pencils. Perhaps his greatest achievement was the instrumental role he played founding Yosemite National Park 
as Yosemite enters its 125th year, we pay tribute to John Muir and his impact uh, on creativity and the environment with the Blackwing 211. The John Muir Trail, one of the world's premier hiking trails, starts in Yosemite and continues 211 miles through the Ansel Adams Wilderness, ending at the highest peak in the continental U.S., Mount Whitney. So there, it always then ties in and kind of tells you, well, why is this volume 211? Because Blackwing doesn't go crying a lot, you know, volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four. No, they're, they're all over the place with the numbers. But the numbers are always significant to the story behind the volume. So in this case, the John Muir Trail is 211 miles long. And so such, this was named volume 211. And then here it gives you some information about the pencil. Natural finish. Brown eraser. Brown imprint. Firm graphite. So that tells you that this has the same graphite that a Blackwing 602 would have, but it's in a different dress, basically. September 2015 is when it was released. Every Blackwing purchase helps a child become a better learner. Learn more at the Blackwing website, UPC code made in Japan. So there it is, okay? So there's the story behind these two 11s. So you get a dozen pencils. Now I'm going to open this here. Okay. So first of all, you know, the box, it's, it, it, it's a nice box on the outside, but look, it has this really kind of pretty liner on the inside. You know, they take some care creating these boxes. And it has this wonderful design with sort of a nod to the hexagonal shape of the pencil and the, the core in the center there. And uh, very nice. And then here we have this little overlay that the volumes often uh, usually have. And it gives you, again, from what we read on the outside of the sleeve, regional map of California and Oregon. And here you can see in green, these are the incense cedar growing regions where, of course, we get the wonderful wood for the pencil itself. And then they show us sort of uh, in yellow or gold there, the uh, John Muir Trail, the 211 miles. Uh, so you can see sort of where that trail spans uh, within the, uh, the park. So now here are the pencils. <laughs> now, uh, I, what Lee must have done for me, and I appreciate this very much, is he threw in a couple of Blackwing 602s in here. Um, th and again, I guess what we could say, let me zoom in a little bit, I'm waiting for focus, is that the pencils in the box and the, the Blackwing 602, they're essentially the same. Under the skin, they're the same pencil, okay? Uh, they have the same core. Um, so um, they're, uh, they're both the firm graphite. But if you remember on the uh, sleeve of the volumes here, 211, let me get this to come in. It told us it had a natural finish. It had a brown imprint. I'm hoping the camera can kind of pick up the color. It's a dark brown, but really looks nice against the beautiful 
I mean, just, you know, that the wood itself is just beautiful. So that it, it's really something to, uh, really something to enjoy about a nice, natural, finished pencil that isn't painted. To see the beauty when they use really good wood like this, to be able to sort of see and celebrate the beauty of the wood. But you had the um, natural finish. The eraser is brown. And I think, uh, for those of you, the, the eraser on the black wing, uh, of course, has this unique ferrule that holds the eraser so that the eraser can, you can essentially use the entire eraser and you can continue to pull it out as it gets used up. And when it's gone, you can actually put a replacement eraser in there. Or maybe you don't like a brown eraser. Maybe you'd rather have a pink eraser or a yellow eraser or some other color in here. You can certainly do that as well. Um, this is really, I mean, the pencil, the pencil is the key, but, but the, 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 the this is the, the, the ferrule is the black wing thing. Okay. That makes this pencil sort of a black wing. Um, in addition to the, the wonderful core. So anyways, so here it is, a beautiful pencil, no doubt. Again, natural Palomino, Blackwing 211, brown eraser, gold ferrule, uh, hexagonal. Let's pull a few of these out of here and just look, do a top-down look. Uh, those cores are, from what my eye can judge, all pretty much right on center. Beautiful. Which means that they should sharpen evenly and nicely. And we're going to do that next and get to some writing with our Blackwing Volume 211. Okay. Let's, let's sharpen this. 211 up here and you know when you're sharpening a nice pencil like this and you get this beautiful almost like a flower ribbon and oh, that cedar smell that is a treat and I'm just using a cheap Apsara sharpener here, but I actually think they do a pretty decent job. The blades wear out and then you just toss it, but you know, they're not bad. Um, okay, I think we can live with that point. There's our point we're going to start with, but yeah, beautiful. And the sniff tells the story. Okay. So let me get us ready here. And this is our Look at that line. And again, this is the firm core. And the kind of the, the thing that always made Blackwing, particularly back when they were originally manufactured by Eberhard Faber, so attractive was they provided a line that you would expect in a much softer core pencil, but had the point retention of a harder core pencil. So it kind of, you got the, the smooth, you got the dark, you got the bold, but you weren't sharpening every, you know, 
every two lines. So that's what made those pencils so loved. And this is a pretty, you know, again, for what they're calling a firm graphite, you can see pretty bold, pretty dark, and smooth too. Let's try it with a little cursive. Lovely, nice, very nice, very, very nice, nice writing pencil. You hear a little bit. You're hearing a little bit of feedback coming from this pencil as it interacts with the paper. Not, but it, it is not, it's not a scratchy kind of an experience at all. So here we go. Let me let's let's zoom in a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Yep. We got a little smudge drag. Not a not a surprise about that, given the the depth of the line that this pencil leaves. Let's try erasing and let's start with the eraser that Blackwing gives us with the pencil, this brown attached eraser. There it is. Eh. Fair to Midland, I guess. There's a bit of ghosting there. Um, so, okay, does an okay job, not great. But let's try some other erasers to get a sense of the overall erasability of this pencil. So here's a Pentel. Boy, that's a clean sweep, isn't it? Here's a Mars. Very good. Magic Rub. Uh, here's an arc or an arch foam eraser. Very nice. How about a pink carnation? Okay, not too bad. Art gum. Whoop, boy, I lost a big chunk there. This eraser is about getting down to the, the end. Uh, here's a Hartmuth natural rubber. Um, not a Raj. What else can we do? What else can we try? How about a Milan? Okay, 
Well, um, attached eraser aside, and it could be, it could be, uh, if these pencils came out in 2015, as I am speaking to you, we are at the end of 2021. So they are six plus years old. So perhaps this is getting a little um, dried out and not erasing to its potential. So I don't know what role that plays. Um, but it is a very erasable pencil, so I'm going to give it an A minus. Uh, and that minus is really because the attached eraser is not turning me on here. But other than that, all the other standard block erasers do a really, really fine job in erasing this pencil. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit more writing with it, though. Yeah, you know what? It is a, a pleasurable pencil to write with. And I know a lot of people use black wings for their art to draw with, and I can, I can really see how this would make a nice drawing pencil. Very nice. Good writer. So, the Palomino Blackwing 211. Firm graphite, but dark, bold, fairly smooth, um, decent point retention, very erasable. And um, smells good, too. So, thank you for spending some time with me as I look at this pencil. If you like what I do here, please share, tell others, and subscribe. Hit the like button and leave a comment. And I look forward to seeing you again real soon, right here on Always Analog.